For the past four years, we've been playing in a slow pitch league, and our team is actually made up of me, my brothers, my dad, our buddies. We have a ton of fun, and we're actually pretty solid. And then playoffs come around, and then we suddenly suck. And it's not because we're bad, it's because they're cheating. Yes, softball is a sport designed for old drunk men, but this means so much to me. Imagine a world where tiny little aliens basketball. challenge you to a game of basketball. basketball. Oh, then when game time comes, the same aliens are 15 feet tall and destroying. This is exactly what the other teams are doing. They're bringing in elite subs, not normally on the team, and now they're really good out of nowhere. I cannot count how many championships we've lost for this exact reason. I know for a fact that this is our year because I have a plan. I'm going to invite 100 MLB players to my championship game so that we win. It does not matter how dumb I have to look, we just need this win. Surely one out of 100 people are at least gonna be a maybe. We're not just taking any MLB player, we're on a hunt for the best. We only have seven days before the championship game. We have a lot to do. Ronald Acuna Jr. 40 home runs, 60 stolen bases, and one stolen heart. No, 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 no. I can only send one message at a time. We just learned this. We have to go put something in the comments. Hang on. Our championship game is Sunday. <sighs> we need subs. Hit me up for deets. We're good. Anyway, just imagine Acuna on 60 foot bases. That is a lot of steals. Speaking of steals, Bobby Witt Jr. Caught stealing 12 times this year. Dot, dot, dot. Not so quick wit junior. Anyway, I promise you won't get caught stealing in our slow pitch game this weekend. 6 p.m. game time. I'll see you there. I should probably tell them we're not allowed to steal. We're also not allowed to hit the pitch. Bryce Harper. In quotes, the bigger they are, the harper they fall. I'm willing to sell that phrase to you for 10K. Or just play on my slow pitch team this weekend. You decide. Fernando Tatis Jr. Would 10K get me some decent roid action? Asking for a friend. In all seriousness, steroids are not cool. I'd rather get like punched in the face. Tim Anderson. Mad respect for you, bro. Jose is such a jerk wad wannabe. We need to stop for the ship this weekend. I'll let you play short if you want. Jose Ramirez. Tim is such a clown, bro. That punch knocked out his lights, plus my depression. America loves you. Eagle emoji, American flag. We also love Mike Trout. You're the best player in the MLB, so I bet you'd be decent at slow pitch. We play on Sunday and could make room for you if you're down. Upside down thing. Emojis are kind of weird. They just like give you more confidence. I don't know what an upside down face is. I don't know what mood that portrays. Confidence is there though. Kind of like Zach Levine. This man plays professional basketball, but look what he did playing softball. What up, Mr. Levine? I'd like to offer you a one day contract to play for our slow pitch team this Sunday. We are right in the suburbs of Chicago and need a sub for the championship game. I had some time to evaluate your softball highlights and it's safe to say I am moderately impressed. If you do not play, I promise, no, I vow to not watch a single Bulls game this season. Hit me up so we can talk numbers, money base. That's definitely a potential. By the way, I have been making a list this whole time. These are all our invites that have higher potentials of playing. It's gonna get bigger. That's what she Salvador said. Salvador Perez. Your nickname is El Nino. More like El Nina. Please don't hurt me. I'm just trying to scout out a team for this weekend. Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie De La Snooze. Oh shoot, I can't send a picture because I can only send one thing at a time. Gosh dang it. That message was supposed to be attached to this picture. And he doesn't, doesn't even know about the softball game. Javier Baez. Uh. I have a feeling you won't strike out as much in our slow pitch league. Come play with us this weekend. That might just turn him off. He might just be mad. Shohei Otani. Guys, this has to be the best player in the MLB right now. I definitely said that about my... Chef, don't judge. This is taking a long time.
That's a wiener. Guys, the emotions are starting to hit. This game is happening no matter what. So this leads us straight into the bad news. No one is responding, and it's probably because they're actively playing baseball right now. Obviously, we need a new plan. Initiate phase two. We will strictly be messaging people who no longer play baseball, retired baseball players. And I'm excited about this. I have a lot of hope. I think this will work. Jim Edmonds. My high school coach always called you a hot dog. Not really sure what that means, but we could use a hot dog on our slow pitch team right now. We play on Sunday. Hit me up if you are down. Wordplay. John Jay. My brothers and I have an inside joke regarding your name. Dot, dot, dot. I'll tell you the joke if you play on my team this Sunday. Not gonna lie, that's a really bad deal for him. Honestly, you guys, inside jokes hurt people more than they help, and so do punches. Jose Bautista. I think this message is gonna be a little scummy. A little, a little scammy, actually. Scammy. All caps. Emergency. Respond now. We need a left fielder on Sunday for the championship game of our super important men's league we play. Help me, Jose Bautista. You're my only hope. Adam Jones. You robbing that home run in the WBC healed me of erectile dysfunction. Period. Forever grateful. I think I'm about to try guilt, like making them feel Bartolo Colon. I told my teammates that me and you are friends and that you would play in our slow pitch team this Sunday. They already don't like me. My fate is in your hands. I have a feeling that'll work. David Ross. You. Me. Parking lot of my softball games. You win. I play for the Cubs for free. I win. You play in our championship game this weekend. Just to be clear, this is a dance-off. I can't dance, but he is a Chicago guy. Potential player, Mark McGuire. You are my favorite ginger. And we do not have any gingers on our team. So I'm thinking you should sign up with us. Yeah, you're sort of a diversity hire, but I promise you'll have fun. Game time is 6 p.m. Because he took six. We have messaged a ton of people and we're down to the final six. But these guys are actually special. I present to you the 2001 Backyard Baseball Final Six. Sammy Sosa. How did you get so big in just one off season? Question mark. Please answer honestly. I have shaky morals. Frank Thomas. I struggle with this one personally. Love the guy and kind of hate the guy. You'll see. I got made fun of so much as a kid because I thought you were a pitcher. Why did you have full pitching stats in backyard baseball? How was I supposed to? Anyway, we need your help on Sunday, so show up. Game time is at 6 p.m. The Alex Rodriguez. I'm not a huge fan of yours, period. Return the whole line, just to separate that. Will you play on my softball team this Sunday? At least I'm honest. You know who else doesn't like him? Derek Jeter. I thought I was cool by not liking you when I was a kid. It didn't really work. Might try it again, because I'm desperate. No hard feelings. Let's separate those a bunch. By the way, we have an open spot on our softball team this weekend. Let me know if you are down. Mustache face. Ken Griffey Jr. Feel free to come to the championship slow pitch game this weekend. Everyone is gonna be there. Cheater is a solid maybe. Frankie T is down. Game time is 6 p.m. Sunday. Fingers. I 100% saved the best for last. Barry Bonds. I mean, just look at the dude. Like, look at those forearms. That's concerning. He's also just chilling. Look at him in his little bike helmet. Oh my gosh, this dude, he's a saint. Who took a lot of steroids. Yo, yo, yo. Barry B on the track. How you doing, my guy? It's been a while. I'm getting ready for that 
bat ship on Sunday night, and we've got the whole backyard crew showing up. So you should drop by. I'll send you the deets later tonight. Now we wait. Okay, here, take this. Ladies and gentlemen, update time. This one's big. Like this is, I'm doing the, I'm doing the update. I already said that. <laughs> we have a response and not only that, this person has 853,000 followers. I don't really know how we snuck in there. Good news and bad news. The one and only Adam Jones actually responded. Let me remind you what I said. You robbing that home run in the WBC healed me of erectile dysfunction. Forever grateful, praying it. It's not the right Adam Jones. This is Pac-Man Jones, the NFL player. Do you want to play softball? I think we're friends. Let's address the elephant in the room. No one showed up. Is that who I think it is? And things quickly got worse. So the other team had guys show up who just weren't there last time, including this guy. Shout out Billy. Your muscles are big. Then a grand slam later, plus a few more runs. It was seven to zero after the first inning. Good season, guys. See you next year. Prank. We're not giving up that easy. We stepped up big time. We started playing like men. I've never seen us play so well in a game where we're playing so bad. Like seriously, we didn't hit that well. We were just trying so hard. Like this game was a defensive masterpiece. The score was only 12 to nine, and that's like nothing in softball. I mean, the team was just hyping me up, except for the part where I struck out. That sucked. And then we continued to win in the dumbest way possible. They hit a foul out to end the game. That means they hit a foul ball that just counts as an out. Honestly, we were on top of the world at this point. It was such an awesome way to go into the championship game. My own mindset has made a complete 180. This is us, this is us, this is us, let's go. All I wanna do is see these guys play hard, have fun, and win. So we won, 27 to 12. We destroyed. Just yesterday, I was willing to kick people off our team to make sure that we win. This can be applied to like anything. If winning a game, getting a job, reaching like a certain status is more important than spending time with the people that God put close to you, you have a problem that needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. I realized every game, win or lose, I get to go straight to my girls. All I'm saying is spending quality time with your friends and family should not be slept on.